The Stumac Sun Fuzz, a pedal kit that comes with all the components and instructions on how to build it, and you build it yourself, and it's based off of the Analog Man Sun Face, Fuzz Face type circuit. Uh, it's a BC108 version, so the BC108 transistors. So let's take a look at the clean tone. Turn the pedal on with the settings as shown here. Uh, so the dials, for your reference, are top left is volume, bottom is tone, top right is gain. Going into my Super O'Keeley Custom 10 with a 10 inch speaker. Nothing uh, in front or after the pedal except for the multi effects pedal that you can see in the corner there um, of the pedal shot with some reverb on. Neck pickup on the PRS, let's go to the bridge. So as you can tell, great sounding fuzz pedal. It does have a very uh, fuzz face-ish tone. Let's take a look at how this pedal cleans up with your guitar's volume knob. A really important aspect of this type of fuzz, a fuzz tape, fuzz face derived circuit. Uh, something that I really look for is that volume cleanup with the guitar, even with humbuckers. Um, so let's see, this is a guitar volume on 10, pedal gain all the way up, pedal gain matched for unity level. And just dialing it back immediately, just on eight and a half, even nine, um, instantly starts to reduce that gain level and start to clear up. Uh, one thing to note, the bias settings in that internal trimmer will have an effect on how it cleans up. Uh, I have the bias set pretty low, so it is a bit spitty and you get that kind of almost gated, not quite there, but that kind of texture to it. Uh, so it cleans up a little differently. Uh, so this is something you can also tune to your preference and, and your personal taste. <laughs>
let's uh, split, uh, do the coil tap on this neck pickup and see how it reacts. Do the same thing, 10, uh, and just slowly roll it down. <laughs> So there are two internal dials as well to keep in mind uh, with this pedal and this kit, a internal trim for the bias, uh, the voltage bias of the pedal and the, or the transistors and the clean signal. So you can blend some clean signal in to really articulate the, uh, the clarity and the individual notes that you're playing. sounding really great kind of well-known fuzz tones so with this kit stumac gives you probably the best instructions that i would have expected for this type of of product um one thing that always kind of stopped me from buying a thing like this a kit a, a diy pedal build which i've always wanted to do uh, was the worry that the instructions wouldn't be clear and i would end up getting frustrated mess something up uh damage a part something and the whole kit would be kind of garbage from there. But with Stumac, these kits and their brief explanation of each part, what they do, how they interact in the circuit, and then a great kind of visual and step-by-step -step walkthrough on, on building it is really the perfect resource for this type of thing where you don't need any experience, just how to solder, basic soldering skills. If you can do that, you can put this together. Just follow the instructions, take your time. There are some re reference videos on there YouTube channel, Stumac's YouTube channel for putting it together. Uh, they don't have one for this exact pedal, but they have one for another kit. Um, so it, you can't follow a video step by step, but it gives you the idea of what to expect. Um, and that instruction kit, I'll, I'll show a quick video of what it would look like. Uh, and it really is great for, for putting it together. It really made me feel confident the entire time that I was going to get it together. It was going to work on the first try because I was following each step clearly uh, and, and it really worked out great. This kit is available with a white enclosure uh, on their website or the bare metal enclosure. I went with the bare metal enclosure because I wanted to come up with some sort of design. I wasn't sure when I bought the pedal what I would end up doing, um, but I wanted this kind of like stained glass type image. Uh, I wasn't sure how it would turn out, which is another learning experience, something I've never really done before uh, using paint markers. Uh, but I think it came out pretty good. I just did a satin white finish, few coats, uh, did the paint markers, drew it in pencil first, traced over it in the paint, uh, and then added some clear coat. And that was a, a really cool learning experience. I think it came out pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with how it looks on the board now. Um, and it was really, if you're going to do your own custom artwork, um, which is one of the appeals for me on, on building a pedal and kind of starting from scratch. I would recommend the bare enclosure. I believe the white enclosure looked like it had some sort of clear coat over it. So it may make, if you're going to paint over it or draw over it, it may complicate it a bit. Uh, it was really nice to just get a nice satin coat. Uh, and that's what I would recommend for these paint markers, a satin or matte uh, paint coat first. And then from there you can uh, really kind of go any direction you'd like, um, but I really like how mine turned out and I'm, I'm very happy with it. So that was the Stumac Sun Fuzz uh, pedal kit and thanks for taking a look at it with me. Uh, really a great kit. The instructions were top notch. The, the whole quality of the kit and everything and how you receive it is, is top notch. I would definitely recommend it. If you're someone who wants to uh, venture into this part of the hobby of guitar pedals and learn something new uh, with this as well, uh, would highly recommend, I haven't tried any other kits, full disclosure, but this was the perfect first time kit for me. 
Um, and it's something I would definitely recommend for, for anybody else. If you have that basic soldering knowledge, um, you can you can build this and be confident that Stumac has your back as well. On their website, it says, you know, if you run into any tr troubles, contact us. And I, Stumac is one of those companies that I would expect them, if you damage a component or run into an issue, that they will help out. Um, so would definitely recommend it.